Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks that I learned in AnyLogic over many years. And in the previous video I promised to show some more advanced stuff of how to set up your integrated development environment in AnyLogic to optimize it for daily use for um, power users. So let's dive in. Um, the first thing is previously I explained my setup for a single monitor setup and it looks like that. But what I typically recommend to people if you don't have a very big screen is get a second screen. So if you're one of those people just working off of your laptop, do get a second screen, do use both of them. In my experience, I can increase my productivity easily by 30% over the course of a day by putting up a second monitor. So do do that. And when you have a second monitor, what you can do is you can actually right click on Windows and say, please detach this window. And what it now turns into is an actual Windows window, which you can drag to your second monitor and maximize it there. So now on my primary monitor, I have a lot of space for my um, visual stuff. And I can make this a little bit bigger as well. And on my second monitor, preferably below your primary monitor, so typically I put this on a laptop monitor, is only the properties, nothing else. That gives you a lot more space for coding. It also sort of cleans up things and it's, it's somehow it, um, it, it works, it feels nicer to work that way. Um, so do get a second monitor and do detach your properties views and put it on the secondary monitor, preferably below the first one. If you ever switch back to one monitor, you can just drag that back in and you've got it all in one place as before. All right. Now, the second thing I wanted to show is a lot more unknown, a lot more uncommon. And that's that. Let's assume we have two functions and we kind of want to compare the code that we've written. Um, so you can either switch back and forth all the time. You could take a screenshot of one and then click on the other and sort of compare the screenshots. But there is also a built-in way in AnyLogic to do that. So in the properties on the top right corner, you have a little drop down here that allows you to create a second properties window. So now I actually have two properties windows. And if I click on elements, you see only one of them actually uh, updates and the other one is static. So this one still shows me this calculate available amount of oil function and I can now switch easily to the second one and I could easily compare the two. What you also can do is, um, so this second window is actually pinned now automatically. So you see this little button here is enabled. Up here it's not enabled. If it is enabled, that means whatever you selected there is now pinned. So in this upper window, if I say, please let me go to this variable, you can pin this now as well. And now both properties views as are pinned and whatever you click is nothing updates anymore because they are pinned. Uh, and you can then unpin it again and then it will update again. So it's a nice little trick. I personally use it fairly rarely, um, but it, it has its use cases, might be useful in some cases. Uh, and maybe many people don't know about it. Uh, all right, that's all I wanted to show in some more advanced topics. I hope that was helpful. Thanks a lot.